that I was doing softball. It's like baseball but then for women. And I was doing that and I couldn't do anything else than run. So they told me like maybe you should do something with running. So that's when yeah. we just went together like the local club here and then yeah we just tried and we liked it I think. We never left. Another question from run hair skin spray. No skin spray. Not skin spray. <laughs> oh sorry. How do you combine school and and athletics. Well, you don't go to school anymore. I don't go to school anymore, no. I finished my bachelor, so... But I... Help me out, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> don't leave me yeah, yeah. Well, I study nutrition and dietetics. Yeah, it's not really easy to combine it with sports, but it's possible, so I just take it slow. Slow. Very slow. Very slow. <laughs> but I will make it. If you're never allowed to run in 40 meters and you have to choose another distance, what will it be? Well, for me it's easy. I will choose the 200 meters. I think it will be like 800 meters. Next! How often do the relay team got together to train for better change? Is this based you. on our last um, relay race? <coughs> well, I think for the Worlds we got together for like two or three times, I think. And then we had our relay uh, practice for European team champs, so... Yeah. I think in a year we come uh, like maybe together like four or five times. In a vlog, Laura once said like, "I'm gonna throw something in your good eye." Mm, I did. Like, yes. I did. And then Femke asked like, "Why do you only have one good eye, or what's wrong with your other eye?" Well, to be honest, my I have one eye that is kind of lazy, just like me. It's my. <laughs> did you see that last thing about which one it is? My right eye is lazy. I basically see everything with my left eye and I... 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 I. That's why I once said like, oh, I'm gonna yeah. do something in your left eye so then I can see anything. Did you or Lisana... Lisana... Did you or Lisana had a serious injury because of athletic sports? Yes, we did and we got it around the same time. So in 2014. And the same thing. Yeah. We so it runs in family, I think. Yeah, we both had a, a hamstring tear. 2014, so we both had like a big tear well, or a rupture. I don't yeah, know. yours were way yeah, worse than mine. Yeah. I was like out of competition for almost a year. I got injured in the season, so 
I don't have to uh, shut down my season, but I could train in the winter again. So. Yeah, like you had a couple of months. And the funny thing is that I always have problems on the, the right side. I always left. Yeah, she's <laughs> always problem, having problems on the left side. Yeah. So that's the thing we like we differ, uh, differ in, but we have to yeah. switch legs basically. Yeah. <laughs> then we have one good person running yeah, and, and one fast. <laughs> okay, what's your favorite snack? Chocolate. No doubt. Yeah, everything nice. with chocolate, cookies, yeah. ice creams. Yeah, she doesn't like matter. Is chocolate oh. monster, chocolate lover. Yeah. If I'm not in training, I would say ice cream. And then we have like one thing we both really love. Sometimes we eat before competitions too. It's like rice crackers, and then it has like a really thin layer of dark chocolate on it, and it's the best. Yes, and then even better with peanut butter on it. Oh, were you cool. as close as you are now? In, in the past, mm -hmm. like in the past, yeah. yeah, not really. When you moved out, like three years ago, I think, mm -hmm. before that, we fight a lot. We were always fighting, always. <laughs> so, it was good I to can't get imagine. You moved out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the reason I moved out, to be honest. No, <laughs> no, but I think mm -hmm. when we were younger, it's like we differ in age in like four, three years. Mm -hmm. So yeah, little sisters are always arguing, arguing, and <coughs> yeah. About the little stuff. About she stealing my clothes. Always did that. Or the one, Still. or someone being mean to mom or something mm -hmm. like that. And I'm like, why do you do that? And yeah. then the other one does it too. So it <laughs> doesn't make sense. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think we're really close now because we also train together for the first time in our lives. So yeah. Well, so in the past it wasn't like this. No. no. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to practice another sport? No, I don't think so. Oh, it come out the eyes. She comes out the eyes. Well, in the past, I you I wanted to because I also did like I experienced like a little different sports. I did what I said already: the softball, baseball for women thing. Yeah. We played tennis. Tennis. We did swimming. I did dancing. Myself. Yeah. We tried a lot of other things, but that was when we were really young and. Now I don't feel like I want to do something else. No, 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 no. Track is the best sport, I think. Hello, Lisanne de Witte. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Lisanne, he said Lisanne. At what age did you start sprint relays, relays with your sister? Mm. I think the first time we did one together was in Heraklion, the European team. Yes. Yeah. And that was. was 15, Two years ago. ago. It's in Dutch. It's like, Vind jullie het nou echt leuk om jezelf helemaal bloot te lopen of doen jullie het alleen omdat jullie er goed in zijn? I think it's kind of an addiction. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it come, it's like related to each other. Because you're good, you enjoy it. Yeah. And we enjoy it because otherwise we do, wouldn't do it and we wouldn't be good at it. So, hmm. it's basically a it's mix of one. both one, of both. But I do enjoy it to really run and then like, that we give totally... It, give it your all. And yeah, I do enjoy it, but sometimes can be tough. Yes, it's not always fun, but... What's your favorite event in track? <laughs> well, 400 meters. Yeah. Did you ever think about quitting track? No. Not really? No. It was more of a moment when we were injured that we were thinking about it, like, do we really like this? Do we really want to do this? And, but yeah, it, both questions <laughs> were confirmed, like, yes, yeah. we like it, yes, we want to keep doing this, so... I never really thought about quitting. No. Do you guys eat unhealthy when you're in off season? Well, we do eat crap in off season. We eat a lot, a lot. I mean, and we will get fat. The point of off season is that you um, gain a bit of weight so that you have is a it? good layer. Yeah, it is. So you have a good layer of oh, weight, yeah. so there's really an excuse to eat crap. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, so good. the thing of off season is gaining weight and have fun. So eat crap. Yay! Because that's happy fun, right? Wait. And what's mo motivating you after a bad race? Mm. What motivates us is like to do better. Yeah, basically that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you Maybe disappoint so. yourself after a bad race, so you want to make it right the next time. Mm. It's simple as that. Because we're both like really competitive, so. Are we? I think we are. Okay. Okay, so what's well, the longest distance we did in training or. The thing I did is running a 5k. Did you? I did. Oh, I'm surprised. Mm -hmm. Me too. The longest I was running for, I think, was like 15 minutes. 
<laughs> Best workout. Music. We have a playlist yeah, on we Spotify. Do. We have the Sushi Little Workout. Link in bio. <laughs> who's that little girl who's in your vlog? Vlog? And in your Instagram stories? Well, that's that's the daughter yeah. of our coach. How are you dealing with nerves on the on race days? Well, <laughs> we don't. We don't. <laughs> we just uh, accept it and move on. Exactly. No. Yeah, well, it's basically something like that. Yeah, I think. We need it to run fast, but it's kind of annoying because you feel like crap. Yeah, you don't want them, but at the same time, you know they're good. And you need for them. racing, and you need them. We need them to run yeah. fast, but yeah, we so. do. Uh, what do you eat for breakfast on a race day? Well, it depends on where and we are. And we're staying. Yeah, because a lot of times we are in hotels for before races, yeah. so yeah, it depends on what they have. Most okay. of the time, we at, eat like yogurt with. So I don't eat yogurt on race days. I do, yeah, but um, we can have eggs with bread or... Yeah, I don't... Uh, to to oh. be Basically, honest, it really yeah. depends. It really depends on what, what they offer. How do you keep uh, eating healthy during the season? Is it not really tough to make, keep that up? Yeah, it is really hard. Yeah, especially now because some people are already in their off-season, so they're eating a lot of crap and then we... We're kind of jealous because yeah. <laughs> we want to eat it too. But yeah, during the season it's it's hard, but you also know why you do it because yeah. you want to run fast and you want to do a lot more races. You want to stay fit. So yeah, that's our motivation to not mm -hmm. eat too much unhealthy stuff. But sometimes we do. Yeah, it's not that we you know, always eat healthy. Cause you probably notice that in our vlogs. Or yeah, or <laughs> sometimes online. we do eat something. Yeah, because you have to stay happy. I mean, if you are always um, restricting yourself from eating unhealthy things, so sometimes you just have to eat stuff you want to eat because you get unhappy and you won't run fast. So no. it's kind of balancing it. Balancing mm -hmm. it. So we got dilemmas with Naomi. <laughs> well, do you want to be indoor world champion or outdoor European champion? Ooh, that's a tough one. I think outdoor is like more important for the athletes than indoors. But, but you are a world, the world champion. champion. I think I would choose that one. I think I would too. Because you're a world champion. This indoor season, we will become <laughs> world champion. And then no European champion. Do you prefer have uh, wet socks? socks or uh, a little stone in your shoe <laughs> when you're like running? No, well, all the time, so I think I would go for the wet, wet socks, socks yeah. otherwise you can even race, so... Yeah, give me the wet socks. Yeah. That and I don't better. use socks during races, so... No. <laughs> Problem <laughs> solved. Oh, good one, yeah. <laughs> YouTube or Netflix? I think YouTube. Yeah, I think too. What are your goals for the Olympics in Tokyo? It's kind of far away, but yeah. um, I think our goal is to make it individually and with the relay. Like ideally we want to run in the, the 400 meter individually and then medal with the team 4x4. Yeah, that would be good. But it all depends on what team we have, how the, what the shape is of the team, like is everyone fit? Is... It can happen so much in three years. So... Yeah, but for ourselves it's like make the team individually and then run the relay together at the end. Yeah, that would be good. Uh, so wait, are you girl sisters? No way, we're not. No, no. no. Are you twins? What was your childhood dream? I wanted to be a dolphin dream. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing though, but I really love dolphins. And you still do? Not that much. <laughs> I was kind of obsessed with dolphins and yeah, I always wanted to go to Dolphinario. Your, like your bedroom was totally covered with dolphin stuff. Oh like, my god, I had everything. I even had a lamp in the shape of a dolphin. And yeah. Oh my god, it was insane. But yeah, I wanted to be a dolphin trainer when I was younger. Not yeah. even an athlete, but <laughs> just no, a dolphin, dolphin trainer. trainer. the most important thing of life for you. <laughs> yeah, it was. Toekomst in vlog of Apotheek. Apotheek. <laughs> Do you see a future in vlogging or athletics? Well. Athletics. So is there any stadium you guys want to run in the future or race? When we were watching the Diamond League in Mon Monaco. Oh yeah, I want to run like oh I yeah, wanna run I want to run in Monaco once. And I think I want to run in Rome as well, just because the warm-up track is insane. Like we should just, <laughs> we should just 
like run in the Richard Race, the Diamond League races because yeah. they have the pretty stadium. It was cool. Also, London probably. was really cool. So maybe if we have like one day, there's another tournament there we want to run. So um, you asked a lot of questions. A lot. Yeah, I think we didn't we, answer no. all, but no, we didn't answer them all. But yeah, thank you for all the questions and. Maybe we're gonna do it again in the future, and then maybe probably. Yeah, maybe we're gonna do it in English in the future, but um, I don't think so. If you listen to her. Oh, thanks. <laughs> no, I'm I'm kidding. But it's it's harder for us to do it in English than do it in Dutch. Sorry. So thank you for watching. <laughs> thanks and for then, watching. Yeah, we we'll see you next time. Peace out. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs>